What's up everybody, my adventures with Superman Season 2 came to an end this week and his Brainiac showed down with the Super Cousins. There will of course be spoilers here in my breakdown, so you've been warned, now let's get into the finale. We picked up right where we left off last week with Brainiac in full control of the Metallos and the Super Cousins down. Brainiac is now hellbent on purging all the humans after being met by Task Force X last week, and now he's under attack from the Human Defense Squadron led by Hank Henshaw. They don't stand a chance though as they're shot down quickly, but this sets up Hank Henshaw to become Cyborg Superman next season. As all that's happening in the sky though, Lex runs as he's worrying about himself instead of others as Lex does, but Amanda Waller, she's staying and fighting because even though she's a bit evil, uh, maybe a bit more than evil, she does it all in the name of defending her country, so that's what she's doing now. And with the Super Cousins down, Metropolis needs more help than Waller alone, and some old phases answer that call. Steel, he shows up to save uh, Lois and Jimmy, while Livewire, Heatwave, Banshee, Roughhouse, and Mist uh, save the Super Cousins, calling themselves a Calvary with the main man, General Lane, and I totally thought we were going to get Lobo here, and I was about to lose my mind, but it didn't make sense, and it wouldn't make sense, and this was a cool season arc for Sam Lane as he saves Waller. The Super Cousins and the Calvary quickly put a plan together, though, and they head into battle in an epic showdown against the Metallos. Heatwave is quickly hit, and since uh, her gear is Kryptonian-made, it takes her and Livewire out of the fight as the rest of the team get the Cousins to Brainiac. But almost immediately, Brainiac takes Kara's mind back under his control, and it seems it's amped up a couple levels this time, and he also tells them that he was the one who destroyed Krypton because Krypton was going to destroy him with their ceasefire. So back under Brainiac's mind control, Kara once again beats the shit out of Superman, and she's got help from Brainiac too as he sends his forces and some dope missiles. Kara really got the best of him here too as Clark buys himself a breather, taking out the missiles and Brainiac's forces as he takes Kara to the ground. Luckily, Kara snaps out of it here after a beautiful moment with her newly found family and the Super Cousins, their team once again, a team hell-bent on beating Brainiac. The pair take the fight to the stars as they're ready to send Brainiac into the sun when he pulls out the kryptonite that he's already created from what he found on Earth, prepared to take himself out if it means taking them out as well because if he can't survive to ensure that the Kryptonian Empire is thriving, then the children of that empire can't survive either. Kara takes a hit from the kryptonite laser though, saving her cousin, who immediately returns a favor catching her as she falls into the sun. The cousins realize here that they're, uh, they're being supercharged in the sun and uh, Kara goes nuclear as they hit Brainiac together before Kara finishes him, but that's not before she gets banged up by his kryptonite weapons. So, with the fighting over, Clark takes Kara back to the best place to make you feel at home, the Kent family farm, where Ma and Pa Kent couldn't be happier to meet their new family. Also, a real quick uh, side note before I wrap it up, Lex and Slade Wilson are working together now without Amanda Waller heading forward in the show, which I can't wait to see, even though I did predict they would be uh, enemies by the end of season two here, I can't wait to see them working together as Lex Corp is also fully operational. Then, the episode closed as Lois tells Clark, after he runs through his whole grand plan to make all this work, that she actually turned down Vicky Vale's job offer, and this show just continues to deliver peak Clovis. Then, Jimmy and Kara join them atop the Daily Planet as the four of them head off to save the people of Metropolis from a fire. That was a great finale. I mean, I loved everything with the Super Cousins, and I can't wait for more now that they're truly a team and Brainiac's out of the picture so he's not taking Kara away every five seconds. I will say, though, even though I do like the suits, the shoulder pads on Superman and the scarf on Supergirl, they need to go. It's like Michael Scott ordering a woman's suit, and I guess uh, Supergirl thinks she's Miss Marvel now. But, you know, nitpicking the suits aside, I like that Steel is seemingly reforming villains, or he's at least trying to do that with this Calvary thing, but it's definitely something I'd like to see explored more in Season 3. And so that'll do it for my Season 2 breakdowns from my adventures with Superman. Another strong season from the show as the universe continues to expand, and I really do think next season is going to be huge. Let me know what you thought of the finale and the season as a whole, though, down in the comments below. Make sure you have a great day.